Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of the Aussie Flipper. Today is a very, very fun day. We're going into the flea markets to a car boot sale. Now, they only do this every Sunday, and I went last week for the very first time, and I was able to pick up some very, very cheap items that flipped very well on eBay. So if you're here for the first time, I'm doing these videos three times a week talking about all things online reselling. So if you're looking to make a few extra dollars, if you're looking to get into it, or if you are doing it currently, uh, go ahead and hit subscribe because I'm gonna keep putting these videos out and hopefully you're gonna keep getting some value. Um, today, car boot, I'm gonna take the camera out with me. I'm gonna show you what I pick up to hopefully give you the thought that you maybe can come out to these markets and, and make a few dollars. Um, so hopefully enjoy this one. We've just turned up into the car park. I'm gonna find myself a spot and we're gonna cruise in with the camera and I'm gonna show you what I'm able to grab for a very, very cheap price. So hopefully you enjoy it. Let's get into it. Belts are like that now, so you can unclip it. Yeah, unclip it. Yeah, okay. And, and yeah, if you use an old belt and put a hole in it, it'll work. You know what I mean? Yeah, it just goes in on that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you put the old belt in, put a hole in, it'll go in, and th and then the other one goes through there. Okay. And what are you doing? What are you doing this one for? Sorry. For how much for this? I think it's five dollars. Five is it? Yeah. Oh, four, four. Four. Sorry. Yeah. I had ten on that before. Okay. But that shines up lovely. You shine that up. Yeah. Don't need sunglasses. Yeah, nice. All right, I'll I'll take that off you. Okay. okay. Hopefully it doesn't rain, mate. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. The wind's yeah. going over. Absolutely. The weather, the weather thing is pretty much correct. Yeah. yeah the black line of pop. Scattered showers. Scattered showers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, as long as it keeps the people coming in, mate. Yeah, that's the main thing. Yeah. How much for the big guy? Forty. It's brand new. This one. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Right. The ones, those ones, can play with. Are they um? Are they all in working order? Those ones? Oh yeah, yeah. They've been checked. Yeah. They all work. How much are you doing for these? How much are you doing for these? Which one? Oh, I'll just say the box. For the box? Like this one, sometimes like 10. How many are there? Yeah, the How many are there? 40. For the box? Yeah. Yeah. I'll have a bit of a think, mate. I'll pop back. No worries. Cheers. Sorry. 
How much are the shoes, mate? Hey, man. Sorry? How much are the shoes? Uh, five bucks. Five bucks? Yeah. For the uh, belt buckle, for its gold, two dollars. Two dollars. Thanks very much. Pretty successful trip. I reckon it's gonna be a few dollars to be made here. I'm gonna get in the car, I'll show you what I got. Alright, guys, so all up, I have spent $45 today. Now, I'm gonna kick things off with the shoes. There were a few different types of shoes out there that were pretty good. I ended up buying the Nike, um, what were they actually? Here they are here. Now these were in pretty good condition. They were the Nike Lunar Converge. Now I've actually not come across the Nike Lunar Converges before. I'll put the comps up here as I always do. Here's the soles on them. They, look, they, they're used, but they're not too bad. So I still think I'm gonna get some really good resale. I like the color of these and I'm gonna be able to really brighten that up with some gumption when I go to clean them. So I had to buy the shoes for $5. Um, he was asking $5. I didn't negotiate him down. I'd be really wrapped if I bought these in an op shop for $5. So I was happy to pay him the five. Um, guys, another thing to really keep a lookout for are the belt buckles. I've come across this 4X gold belt buckle and an RM Williams uh, belt buckle as well. So this guy was only $2 and this guy was $4. So six bucks for some belt buckles. And as you can see here, they do actually comp pretty well on eBay. Um, so I should be able to make a few. Um, the CDs, I always look for the CDs. I had a really good run in uh, the garage sale just yesterday where I bought a heap. I could only find the Michael Jackson one and brand new, this guy's only about $20. I paid a dollar for him. Um, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to sell him for $10 on eBay. So a very small win, but I just like to look for CDs. I think you can often find some really good ones and it always pays to look out for them. Had a look at all those PlayStation 4 games and unfortunately I sat there and comped all of them. There was no real value in any of them. So I had to let them go. Um, we'll go into the DVDs as well. Box sets of DVDs are a great thing to get your hands on. There's always a lot of money to be made. I've bought the Friends full collector's album here. So all CDs, are uh, all DVDs right here. I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten of them. Um, so that's a really good get. Uh, all ten seasons. Um, now they had a twenty dollars sticker on it, and I negotiated 
I said we'd take ten dollars, and then they settled on fifteen. And with the comps, I think I can get about forty to fifty dollars. So I've ended up saying yes to this for fifteen dollars. So I'm not disappointed with that. Um, that should do okay. The other one as well was this one, which is the Family Guy seasons one to eleven. So Family Guy season one to eleven, again a box set type setup. It's something you want to get your hands on. This retails for around sixty dollars, um, and I got this one down from twenty to ten. So again, a bit of negotiating. Uh, $10 was a really good result. The comps aren't too bad for those. Um, I bought one piece of clothing. There was a lot of clothing there, but I really didn't have my eye out for clothing today or shoes. I kind of left that alone and tried to play with the other stuff, the bric-a-brac type things. But I did find these um, kids' ASICs long tights. Um, they were only a dollar. It was on a dollar clothing rack. These are in great condition. Um, only cost me a dollar. It's a size small as well. So just some really cool kids tights. I think they'll get picked up for $15, $20. And then I bought two plush toys as well. Now I was really stoked to come across a Teletubby. I have not seen a Teletubby for years and the comps on the Teletubbies are amazing. So I bought this for $5 and I reckon I'm gonna be able to flip it for about $35. So awesome to find the Teletubby. He's in really good condition. That was a really cool pickup. And then I bought just one of these yesterday in a garage sale, but it was the Martian. I've picked the Martian up. She was wanting $5 for him. And I don't typically like to pay anything more than $5 when I'm playing in the plush category. But I ended up picking up this one for $3. I came back to her. I think a really crucial thing in the flea markets is to peruse for a lap, just do a walk around. That's sort of the way I tried to play it. I went around, had conversations, told people what I was interested in, asked for the price that they wanted, and then I really took my time on it. I didn't ever sort of retaliate with a, a, you know, a new price point or anything like that. I just took that information in. I kept moving on to the next one. And then I did a second loop. And in the second loop is where I actually bought everything. And it was that sort of, that, that time goes by in the, in the seller's mind that I know this guy's interested. I really want to get him over the line. And then I would turn up and say, hey, would you take this? I'll, I'm happy to take it. And that was, you know, the, the Family Guy box sets and the Friends box sets, you know, $20 down to 10, $20 down to 15. I've saved myself $15 there. Um, and I think it all comes down to that, that negotiation tactic of just stalling the process a little bit, making them think like they've lost a sale and then coming back and then negotiating after a bit of time. I think that really paid off for me today. Um, so all in all, I've spent $45 today. I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items for $45. So the average sale or average purchase price was around $5 for everything that you've seen today. And the resale value on each individual item is all very, very good. So I think I've bought pretty well today. Um, fingers crossed they do sell well on eBay. I'm gonna get back home, put it into the system, and then I'm gonna list it all up onto eBay. And I think these items are really good sort of Christmas type items as well for certain people. I know that they are used and it's better to buy new, but I still think the box sets, that sort of thing, are gonna be some really good pickups on eBay. So um, fun one today. I love getting out to the markets every Sunday. If you've enjoyed this market style video, um, I can, I know it's a Tuesday uh, episode where I normally do some hints, tips, and tricks. So. Today, my tip or my trick would be the negotiation tactics of the flea market. Just take your time. That would be my the way to go about it. Just take your time, peruse, and then strike on your second run. Um, so that's everything for today. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please remember to subscribe. Please remember to like. And uh, I'll catch you in the next episode, which will be a trip to the thrift on Thursday. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Really do appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one.